so <clears throat> good morning guys so today I'm in my brother's snake fruit plantation as you can see the plantation is so dense yeah there's a lot of fruit coming up but isn't ripe yet and these are all not ready for harvest and we were looking at maybe 20 to 30 more days two weeks ago we've just pruned these snake fruit trees so farming snake fruit trees are simple I mean it's simple we only need three things to do that are fertilization and pruning then harvesting and pollination of course but yeah it's simple no it's not complicated So this plantation is in around when at around 2000 meters above sea levels so it's quite high and the fruits of course the fruits are different from the plantation in the lower altitudes the difference okay the difference the difference mainly in the fruit size also the fruit clusters in higher altitudes the fruit clusters of snake fruits typically they have four clusters in the higher altitudes like this trees for example we have one, two, three, and four. Five to six clusters are rare in the higher altitudes, but in the lower altitudes, there it's common to see a cluster of five, six, seven, maybe, but the fruits are smaller than at the higher altitudes we've got heavy rain last night so some of the fruits that are ripe are falling off like this for example as you can see they're falling off but these fruits are still good to eat oh it's still hard to peel yeah like that easy clean and ripe yeah heavy rain will cause a ripe snake fruit falling off the tree like that but yeah it's fine not all of them hmm totally ripe we have around 450 snake fruit trees here 